Hey, hi, how are you? Hello, I am fine. Thank you. How are you? I am also good. Thank you. So, I have about your profile and I am going to evaluate you based on your technical skill set. Okay, so before that, can you tell me what is your uh, total years of experience and your technical skill set? I have two years of experience. Uh, I work in uh, Cold Java. I work in I worked in Spring. I worked in Spring Boot, uh, and I know uh, a little bit about databases. That is my technology stack. And the roles and responsibilities include uh, I get uh, bugs to solve, and then after looking at the code, uh, we try to resolve that bug and then uh, test it. Okay, and which version of Java you are using currently? Uh, I am using Java eight in my current project. No, okay, okay. So I have provided you a problem statement in the chat box. Can you share it? So I have copied it in uh, the notepad. Yes. So you can see you have to find the count of sub arrays that sums up to k. Okay. So the input will be an array. Okay. You can see one, two, three. These are the array elements. Array elements. Then k is the sum. Okay. And you have to identify all the pairs. Or you can call it as a sub arrays from the input that will have sum as a three, which is k. So you can see the logic like uh, one comma two. That is one sub array, which is uh, having sum as three. Okay. So there are two sub arrays. So output should be two. Okay. All right. So uh, let me just uh, clarify this. Uh, this is input array one two three, and this is the target element target sum which is k. I want to find all the sub arrays whose sum is k. For example, here the first sub array is one comma two. So when I add one and two, the sum is three, and another sub array is three, which is one element. So the sum is actually three. So there are two sub arrays one comma two and three whose uh, sum is three. That is the reason we have uh, the output as two because of two sub arrays. Am I right? Yes, correct. All right. So uh, let me uh, start coding on this. So uh, the first thing is I'm going to create an array. So integer array because uh, it's an array of integer, and I'm going to use uh, three elements: one, comma, two, comma, three. So this is similar to the input that you have uh, given us. And integer k equal to three. K is the target. We want to find all the sub arrays whose sum is three. We are denoting that by k. So the target is uh, three. After that, we are going to get the length of array. So integer n equal to a r r dot length. To get the length, we can use dot length. This gives us uh, the number of elements in that array. And finally, uh, we are going to use uh, integer a uh, result equal to zero. This will hold the number of sub arrays that are present uh, in your actual array. So let's try to write a for loop. So for integer i equal to uh, zero and i is less than n, we are going to iterate all the elements starting from zero till n, and we are going to do i plus plus traditional for loop. The initial condition is zero. We start from zeroth element, and uh, the uh, final condition is i is less than n, uh, n being your length of the array, and then we iterate through it. So while iterating, uh, we try to find sum of Sub array, so that is denoted by integer sum, and uh, it is initialized to zero for now. And we will take one more um, for loop. So this for loop will uh, start from in integer j equal to i. So suppose i equal to zero, then uh, the internal loop will start from zero. When i becomes one, the internal loop will start from one. So integer j equal to i, j is again less than n and then j plus plus so this is one more loop that we are iterating so here the complexity becomes o of n square because we have two loops and we will try to find sum of this internal array so let's try to find a uh, sum so this sum is equal to sum plus the actual element which is arr of j okay so after this uh, we are going to check if this sum is equal to the uh, target value, which is k, so if sum is equal to equal to k, we will increase uh, will increase the number of sub arrays. 
and we are denoting sub arrays by result. So we are going to do a result plus plus. So let's do result plus plus. All right. So this is how we could uh, achieve this problem statement. And finally, after doing this, we are going to return uh, the result. So let's see. We are going to print the result. So let's try to sys out uh, number of sub array that sums up to k is result. So these are the number of some sub array that sums up to the target value. So let me run this. So a uh, number of sub array that sums up to three is two. So we have two sub arrays whose sum is three. So this is how I could uh, achieve this. And uh, the time complexity of this is O of n square. And I think this can be uh, reduced uh, from O of n square uh, to, to uh, we can try to form a better solution and try to reduce this time complexity. So if you have a better solution, then uh, please write it in the comment section. So that's it. Okay. Can you do one more thing? Uh, try to modify the input of array. Like instead of one, two, three, can you make it one, one, one? Yeah. So let me make it, uh, as you said, one, one, and one. Yeah. And make k as a two. Okay. So you want to make uh, k as two. So in this case, mm -hmm. we have three elements, one, 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 and k as two. So let's run as Java application. So we have two sub arrays. Uh, one, uh, one sub array is this one and one. And then the second sub array is uh, this one and one. So uh, that is the reason it printed as two sub arrays. Okay, perfect, fine. That's it from this video. Thank you, bye-bye. Thanks everyone, bye-bye.